Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another versus video. This one is for Okafor from The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, versus Emil from Fear the Walking Dead. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today, this one's going to be doing a review for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video, this one is another versus matchup video, we've uh, kind of taken a little bit of a break over the last few weeks just due to obviously a lot of Walking Dead content being released, ones who live, kind of interrupting the schedule a little bit, uh, but we're back now, I'm uh, getting back into these, um, the versus matchup this week is Okafor versus Emil, so um, kind of cool because we're returning with a character that we just got introduced to in the ones who live, and obviously he was, well, well, you know, killed off pretty quickly as well, too. So we're actually able to do this, which uh, is pretty cool. So um, Okafor is a really awesome character. Loved his character in The Ones Who Live for what he had. And I really enjoyed Emil in Fear the Walking Dead. I thought they were two of the best spinoff characters we've ever seen in The Walking Dead. So getting that now into this and, you know, seeing how they both compare to each other, I'm actually very interested to see how this kind of pans out. So first off, we have Stealth. Now, stealth-wise, I'm definitely going to go ahead and say um, Okafor, mostly because he is a stealthy soldier. He's very good at what he does. He's good at his job, and he can, you know, he can be pretty sneaky as well, too. You know, I, I definitely get that vibe. And, you know, with Emil, he'll, he'll kind of, you know, make a big scene out of it. He'll make a big show out of it. You know, he's not really that good on, like, sneaking up to people. He's more so just, you know, a guy that would put on a show while he kills you, you know? Um... Which, Emil's terrifying in that regard, but I think Okafor would probably do stealth a lot better. You know, he's trained to do that type of stuff, so for sure. Now, the next one is travel speed. Now, travel speed, again, I'm going to go ahead and say Okafor, mostly because Okafor is really quick on his feet. We've seen him in a lot of, you know, battles. We've seen him in a lot of, you know, different stuff like that. And again, you're trained to, to be quick on your feet, you know, so... I feel like that makes sense. He's also a crazy assassin that goes into communities and slaughters people all the time. That's literally part of his job. So, yeah, I, I think in terms of travel speed, he would probably get the job done a lot quicker. Um... But maybe that's just me. Now, the next one is strength. Now, strength-wise, I will say this. Um, Okafor is pretty damn tough. I mean, I know some people say, like, oh, well, it doesn't count because he took Rick down. And Rick's not exactly the best fighter in the world. But, you know, here's the thing is that Emil Morgan was able to kick his ass. With Okafor, you can tell that not much beats him. He got, you know, beat up, uh, you know, a little bit. But he was able to take the fight against Rick, you know. And, again, he was, you know, a Marine and stuff like that. I just, I don't see it. I don't see Emil beating that. I really don't. Um, I feel like Mar uh, a Marine versus Emil just wouldn't work out well. So I'm also going to say with that one, no, I, I think, uh, I think Okafor has got this one as well too. Now the next one is endurance. Now endurance wise, I mean, a soldier is absolutely like, yeah, no, 100%. Um, endurance wise, he's a, a soldier for a, a high functioning group that does not have any secrets revealed on the outside world. I think endurance, it's a clear answer here that Okafor is better than Emil. Emil is, you know, again, he, we don't know. All we've seen from him is really that he was a bounty hunter, but I don't see any kind of way that you could beat the endurance of a CRM soldier that tells all these lies and does all this stuff to keep the city a secret and stuff like that. No, no way, uh, no way in hell would that ever happen. Uh, the next one is combat. Do we really have to say here? Yeah, no, I think Okafor could admittedly take that axe from Emil and probably beat his ass, to be honest. I'm just going to be honest about that. Um, I don't think that uh, Emil would stand a chance. Look, I think he would have a decent start, but I don't think that Okafor would, would really take too much out of him to take Emil down. I really don't, especially at, at least not in combat, I would say. Now, the next one is speed. Now, speed-wise, you guys may call me nuts, but I'm actually going to go Emil on this one because, you know, you are still wearing big armor. You know, you're wearing big big, you know, heavy armor, I think Emil may actually take this one in terms of speed at least, because he has the advantage of not wearing like a huge, you know, outfit and stuff like that. So speed wise, I'll actually give this one to Emil. I think that, yeah, a little bit. Um, next one is experience, um, CRM military, you know, bombing people all the time. I think it's a pretty obvious one. I'm going to go Okafor here as well too. Um, skills, uh, again, skill wise, I think it's pretty damn obvious. I mean, honestly, the training he has and the skill skills he has, um, I think he would beat him 100%. And intelligence, here's the thing, you're dealing with a bounty hunter versus a guy that knows, you know, the, the true ins and outs of Marines and knows the true ins and outs of a crazy city and stuff like that. 
I think finally, again, intelligence wise, I'm going to go Okafor as well. So in other words, and I think it's pretty obvious, Okafor would absolutely wipe the slate clean here. Um, I don't think anything aside from speed, because again, the Okafor has big armor, so you could make a case for that. Um, I think besides that, it's not even kind of close, to be honest. Um, but again, you know, again, that's that's just my opinion. I want to hear your opinions. Who do you think would win in a fight where um, you would see these two battle it out? Post comments down below. And if you knew the channel and you enjoy videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button to not miss any of the videos of the Walking Dead universe. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews and Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of the Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.